my dad really is the one that primarily was the, the big influence on me and in getting into riding. He grew up riding dirt bikes and he, he absolutely loved, ate, slept, breathed motorcycles in general. And a lot of the riding he did as a kid was on dirt bikes. And so it, it, that was kind of his, his hobby or his recreation when he had any time off work as he would go out to the desert and, and ride dirt bikes. So as I was growing up, he, he got me little Honda XR 80s. And, you know, when I got a little bit bigger, he got me the 100 CC version. So he took me out at a very, very young age and really taught me how to ride out in the deserts of Southern California. And even before that, you know, he had me on, you know, when I was three or four, the, the power wheels and then the scooters, just anything two wheels. My dad had me on and riding at a very, very young age. So it was, it was very much that father influence that really got me riding at a very young age in life. I'm Matt Laidlaw, a YouTube content creator and general sales manager at Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson in Los Angeles, California. To me, writing, it, it means a lot of things and both, both fun it has a lot of functional or practical uh, reasons that I do it and also you know, recreational. So to me, writing is obviously, you know, transportation, getting to and from work. And also, you know, kind of like I, like I mentioned already, my recreation, you know, there's, there's nothing I love better than to get a group of friends and go ride out to, you know, Death Valley or the Sequoias, or just do like a day trip to Neptune's Net on the coast of California, or go to Julian, California. You know, there's just a, a million places that, that we like to go. And so, yeah, to me, writing, writing is, it just fulfills so many different aspects of, of my life and, and needs. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, writing is also what I do professionally. Uh, I, I sell Harley Davidson motorcycles. And so being able to communicate that love of motorcycles that I have to customers that walk through the door and to people, you know, that, that watch my YouTube content, it's, it's what I'm all about. The best way I can describe it for me is, is connecting with nature and just feeling all the elements that, you know, God's given us on this earth. So, you know, and I always tell people too, you know, if you go up highway one, you know, Pacific coast highway in a car, it, it doesn't really do nearly as much for you than if you were to do it on a motorcycle because you can't see and feel it like, like you can on a motorcycle. And when I go on a long ride, and I get back, it it completely clears your head. And I know that is kind of maybe the over overly used, and a lot of people say that, but really what I can kind of relate that to is if you go out any any outdoor recreational activity, you know, whether it be snowboarding, uh, which I'm a huge fan of, or camping or hiking, you know, any of these things where you where you get very grounded and you connect with nature. And when you get back home, it's almost like the little things in life don't bother you as much anymore. It's like, okay, I, I, I can see the big picture now a little bit better. And motorcycling 100% does that. Yeah, back in, I want to say 2008 or nine, my dad and I went on the love ride together. For a long time there, it was the largest single day uh, ride in the country, I believe. You know, not in, it wasn't considered a rally or anything like that, but it, just a single day ride. And it was one where we all met at Glendale Harley Davidson and you know, they always had a lot of cool uh, you know, celebrities and things come out there. And so we got to meet a lot of cool guys. You know, we took a ride out to the Pomona Fairgrounds and just, just kind of being among thousands of riders you know, traveling down the freeway in an escorted manner was just, it was rad. And just to hear the, the sound of thousands of Harley Davidson's engines and exhaust at the same time, it's, it's one of the most amazing feelings. And, and I felt it before in, in other rides. That's certainly not the only ride I've done, but it was one that was kind of early uh, in, in my full-time career as, as selling Harley Davidson's. 
and you know the time that I was able to kind of experience with my dad and so that really stands out a lot and another time another ride that really stands out is one time this was probably about 2013 or 14 we took a group of of my coworkers and we all rode out to Death Valley and we timed it just perfect i believe it was like around around this time around April or May and just riding out there that night there was like this like thunderstorm shower thing going on and just having that out like on the dunes was just surreal and amazing and just riding through Death Valley and just seeing all the cool natural kind of phenomenons that that happen out in Death Valley with perfect weather as well uh, was was just pretty awesome. Well, the place I want to go is, is Southern Utah. I, I really, I was talking about it yesterday with my coworkers that I really want to put a, a trip on the calendar to go to like Bryce Canyon. Uh, that, that area is, is phenomenal. Uh, just the, the mountain, uh, just, you know, the arches and everything that you can find out there are pretty amazing. Uh, there's not too many places like it in the world. So yeah, I'd like to do like a two or three night stay up in you know, Zions and Bryce Canyon up in, in Southern Utah. So that's, that's what I'd like to do. And, you know, right now, I don't know what, what the legalities of everything and staying inside is, but quite frankly, I, I feel like getting out on the road on a motorcycle, there's nothing wrong with that right now. Um, of course, you don't have the, the hotels and the restaurants open, but to get out on a day trip, I think it's the perfect activity that you can be doing right now with this whole coronavirus thing. Maybe I'm out of line, maybe the governor or the president wouldn't agree with me, but to, to get out on a motorcycle and to get out on the open highways. You know, if I can see one silver lining in this whole thing, it is that highways are open right now. I mean, there, there's no one on the roads and that's not a good thing. Believe me, I'd rather have people at work and, and the, the traffic of LA that we're used to, I'd rather have that. But like I said, the silver lining is there, the, the roads are empty right now. And so, you know, getting out on what was once really busy roadways and or PCH about by Santa Monica up to Malibu, where it's normally extremely crowded. Dude, I, I'm all about get out there right now and, and enjoy it and enjoy the roads right now, especially if uh, your your work has been put on hold or if you're working at home and you have a little extra time. In my opinion, now is the time right now to get out there and take a day trip, get on the bike and and experience it, man. It's There's not too many times in Southern California where you can get out there with the lack of traffic that we have right now. I ride because of what I do professionally. I, I sell Harley Davidson motorcycles and so I love to see people pick up the sport and, and the hobby of riding motorcycles and to pass on my love and enjoyment of riding motorcycles like my dad did to me. It's very rewarding. Um, I'm very fortunate in the fact that you know, I'm, I'm not doing a, a dumb, boring office job. No offense to anybody that does that type of work, but I'm very fortunate that I get to pass on to new riders my love for, you know, riding on two wheels. Yeah, LifeWire really excites me a lot. I think that one of the major criticisms that Harley Davidson's had over the years is that they are just relying on their same old V-twin air-cooled uh, push rod technology that they've been doing for a long time, which I love, by the way, and I think they should always have that. But to come out with something like Livewire that is so advanced in technology, especially in this industry, you know, Harley's the first major manufacturer to come out with an electric bike. It's, it's awesome to see Harley do something like that. And in Harley Davidson's way, you know, some of these other uh, electric motorcycle companies that are making bikes right now, their, their execution is nowhere near what Harley Davidson's is as far as, you know, the fit and finish, the quality, just the way all the parts kind of meld together, everything specifically designed for the live wire. And so I'm a huge fan of it. I love it. I've, I, we were actually just, you know, messing around with it yesterday uh, on our, our demo unit, you know, setting up the HD connect on it. But I think it's great to see Harley Davidson, you know, kind of break that mold of what people expect from them and come out with something like the live wire. And, and so I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I feel like it's gonna take a little time for the core Harley Davidson customer to, to kind of attach onto it and to really start having the same passion that I have for it. 
and either that or you know new new people new blood coming into the harley davidson world you know whether it be your your electric car enthusiasts or whatever you know come in and, and enjoy that bike we haven't seen you know explosive sales in the live wire yet and i don't think harley davidson really anticipated it would it would be that that because the the live wire is very much their halo model and it is uh, an expensive motorcycle but um i i think as harley davidson kind of uh, bolsters its its offering and its portfolio you know, i think more people will uh, adopt that technology and you know i think there's just things that are just misconceptions out there right now as far as range and range anxiety and you know people don't really understand or, or i think sometimes you have to break it down to people that hey you know what your typical ride that you normally do isn't more than 120 or to 140 miles anyways and so this whole idea of you you know getting stranded out on the road is really not applicable in 90 percent of your riding you know unless you're a guy that tours the country for long distance it, the the whole range is is a non-issue and so anyways i don't want to get on a tangent on that but the the, the live wire the long and short of it is an amazing bike i love the the push right now that harley davidson's doing with with test rides because everybody who's ever ridden that bike loves it they, they get off it and are and just immediately and i don't know what they're expecting but they get off and they say i wasn't expecting that i don't know if they weren't expecting just how amazing the power delivery is or what but you really it's a bike that you really gotta you gotta experience it first and you have to open your mind a little bit i, I feel like so many of the core harley davidson customers are very close-minded to just the 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 feeling and the mechanicalness that they're used to which is great but at the same time you know, it doesn't hurt to kind of experience more than what you're used to.